welcome to the second video of scotch yoke mechanism guys in this video we will be making the slider link this blue one and we'll add it with the wheel that we have made in our first video i will provide the link of first video in the description now click on part click on ok and make sure that you have selected mmgs as units change the background to plain white guys and then click on front plane click on sketch and here make a center slot now select the smart dimensioning tool and specify the length of it now select these two lines and specify the distance in between the lines as 5 millimeter and then select this offset entities guys just select this outer link and uh, here specify the distance check this boss go to features select extruded boss base guys and here just specify the length of extrusion from here check this box now and now let's specify some color i am applying chrome metal chrome it's an optional step guys you can specify any color you like or you can go without specifying any color this is no problem you can save it as we are done with the second part you can name it as p2 or any name you like like uh, slider link or any name and now open an assembly file guys assembly file then click ok now we are going to assemble the wheel and the link so click on browse and select the wheel and then click ok now change the background to plain white you can rotate it okay and now select this insert and insert the link as well guys place it here now click on the wheel and select this first option it will open in the separate file guys after that select this face and just click on sketch select a center line and from this point to this point make a center line guys similarly from this point to this point make a center line let's find out the degree between them this is guys 72 degree so we want a line in between them so we know that if we divide 72 by 2 it's gonna give us 36 so we are going to make a line here select these two lines and here specify the angle as 36 degree guys because we want this line at the mid of previous two lines here we go 36 degree press escape button reduce this length select smart dimension tool and uh, specify the length as 40 okay all of these lines are uh, construction geometry or center lines make a circle here and specify the diameter of this circle guys I'm specifying as 4.5 or uh, all right just make it as 5 extruded boss base initially I will go with 10 mm extrusion now select this face of face and click on sketch and make a head a hexagonal head so make a hexagon here specify the distance between these two lines of the hexagon you can specify here any number I would go with the seven and uh, just to make it fully defined select these two lines and just click OK go to features extruded boss base and this is the head of the bolt guys hope it makes sense and now press ctrl s button or save it from here cross this and here we have it and now click on mate in mechanical mate select this slot and in this window we need to select two uh, entities so I would select the bolt 
and this internal face and they are assembled and now drag this closer to this one because I want to be in here and now select the bolt and click on this first option it will open the file again I want to reduce the length so right click here and reduce the length this is fine now press ctrl s and cross it and now let's assemble it click on mate select this internal face and this face of the bolt this one so this is good now so far we have assembled the wheel and this link and we will add more videos on it as we go further so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel guys i will add the link of the wheel video in the description thanks for watching see you in the next video